2. Feminist Analysis of Democracy A. Normative Democratic Theory and Liberal Democracy Democracy is a system of government in which power is bestowed upon the people, who exercise it directly or through elected representatives. It is derived from the Greek words demos, meaning the common people, and kratos, meaning rule or power. Democracy can take various forms, such as direct democracy, where citizens directly participate in decision-making, or representative democracy, where citizens elect representatives to make decisions on their behalf. It is important to note that there are different models of democracy worldwide, and their specific structures and institutions can vary from country to country and over time. In a democracy, all citizens have equal rights and opportunities to participate in the political process, regardless of their social status, wealth, race, gender, religion, or ideology. The normative theory of democracy is a branch of political philosophy and theory that explores the foundations, principles, and justifications of democratic governance systems. It seeks to examine the underlying values and theories that inform the concept of democracy and its moral and philosophical implications. The normative democratic theory deals with the moral foundations of democracy and democratic institutions and the moral duties of democratic representatives and citizens. This approach is distinct from descriptive and explanatory democratic theory, which explains how democracy and democratic institutions function. Normative democracy theory aims to provide an account of when and why democracy is morally desirable, as well as moral principles for guiding the design of democratic institutions and the actions of citizens and representatives. Several philosophical theories have contributed to our understanding of democracy as a system that values individual rights, public deliberation, participation, equality, and the pursuit of the common good. Political theorists such as Aristotle, John Locke, Charles Louis de Secondat, better known as Montesquieu, Jean-Jacques Rousseau, John Stuart Mill, John Dewey, John Rawls, Jürgen Habermas, and Hannah Arendt have coined influential concepts and theories that aim to answer some of the following questions. Why is democracy morally valuable? What is the aim of democracy? What authority do democratic institutions have? What are the different conceptions of the limits of democratic authority? What can be reasonably expected from citizens in democratic societies? How can equality in processes of representation be secured? Who should be included in democratic decision-making? These questions encompass various philosophical perspectives regarding the nature, legitimacy, and purpose of democracy and the values and principles that should guide democratic decision-making. Whether direct or representative, small or large political units, the notion of democracy in the history of Western countries has taken several forms. Normative democratic theories provide important frameworks for evaluating and correcting existing democratic practices, highlighting their shortcomings, and envisioning potential improvements. In the history of political ideas, there are different perspectives and approaches to normative democratic theory, and scholars hold varying views on the ideal form and principles of democracy. In addition, normative democratic theories provide invaluable impetus for critically examining and refining democratic practices so as to pursue more just, fair, effective, inclusive, and legitimate governance. 16. Liberal democracy, the dominant form of government in Western countries, is a political regime and system of governance that combines the principles of political liberalism with those of democracy. It seeks to protect individual rights and freedoms while ensuring popular participation and representation in decision-making processes. It strives to strike a balance between individual freedoms and collective decision-making, promoting a system of governance that upholds human dignity, freedom, equality, the rule of law, and respect for human rights. Liberal democracy seeks to reconcile the tension between majority rule and the protection of individual rights through constitutional safeguards and a commitment to the rule of law. Understood as a form of government, it can take the form of a constitutional monarchy, presidential, semi-presidential, or parliamentary republic. In addition to formal aspects of governance, contemporary liberal democracy concerns the symbolic ordering of social and political relations drawing on two different traditions, on one side, that of political liberalism, the rule of law, separation of powers, and individual rights, and on the other, the democratic tradition of popular sovereignty, Muff, 2000, page 18. According to Chantal Mouffe, the difference between ancient and modern democracy resides in accepting the pluralism constitutive of modern liberal democracy. This difference is not one of size but of nature, 2000, page 18. 
By pluralism, she means the end of a substantive idea of the good life. Such recognition of pluralism implies a profound transformation in the symbolic ordering of social relations. In the case of the European Union, the core values common to the member states that define liberal democracy are pluralism, non-discrimination, tolerance, justice, solidarity and equality between women and men, treaty on European Union, art. Nowadays, the dominant form of democracy is a representative democracy where citizens elect government officials to rule on their behalf, such as in a parliamentary or presidential democracy. Democracy provides a framework to safeguard individual liberties, as majority rule is tempered by respect for fundamental rights. According to the United Nations, liberal democracy provides an environment for protecting and realizing human rights and fundamental freedoms in which a person's will is freely exercised. The UN does not advocate for a specific model of government but promotes democratic governance as a set of values and principles that should be followed for greater participation, equality, security, and human development. In 20025, the Commission on Human Rights declared the following essential elements of democracy. 1. Respect for human rights and fundamental freedoms. Democracies aim to safeguard individual freedoms, such as freedom of speech, assembly, religion, and the press. They promote and protect civil liberties and provide citizens with mechanisms to challenge violations. 2. Freedom of association, expression, and opinion. Liberal democracy recognizes and respects diversity regarding individual beliefs and group identities. It promotes pluralism, allowing different political opinions, ideologies, and lifestyles to coexist peacefully. Tolerance and respect for diverse viewpoints are essential for a healthy democratic society. 3. Access to power and its exercise by the rule of law. Liberal democracy upholds the principle of popular sovereignty, which means that ultimate political authority rests with the people. Citizens have the right to participate in the political process through elections, voting, and other forms of civic engagement. 4. The holding of periodic free and fair elections by universal suffrage and secret ballot as the expression of the will of the people. Democratic systems typically hold periodic elections where citizens can choose their representatives. These elections are conducted freely and fairly, allowing for a peaceful transfer of power and holding government officials accountable. 5. A pluralistic system of political parties and organizations. In a pluralistic environment, multiple parties and diverse organizations coexist and compete for political power and representation. It is characterized by diverse viewpoints, ideologies, and interests represented through various political entities. 6. The separation of powers. The separation of powers is a fundamental principle that aims to distribute and limit power within a government by dividing it into separate branches or institutions. This separation safeguards against the concentration of power and the potential abuse of authority. 7. The independence of the judiciary. Democracies are governed by the rule of law, which means that laws are applied equally to all individuals, including those in positions of power. It emphasizes the importance of an independent judiciary to ensure fair and impartial interpretation and enforcement of laws. 8. Transparency and accountability in public administration. Democracy incorporates a system of checks and balances to prevent the concentration of power and protect against potential abuses. Separation of powers among the executive, legislative, and judicial branches of government helps maintain a system of accountability and prevents any branch from becoming too dominant. 9. Free, independent, and pluralistic media. Free media provides citizens with accurate, reliable, and diverse information. An independent media acts as a watchdog, holding those in power accountable. It investigates and reports on government actions, exposes corruption, and highlights abuses of power. A pluralistic media offers diverse perspectives and viewpoints, promoting a vibrant marketplace of ideas. It presents alternative opinions, encourages debate, and challenges prevailing narratives. Free media encourages civic engagement and citizen participation. It provides a platform for individuals and organizations to express their opinions, concerns, and aspirations. The path toward liberal democracy in the European Union has been a complex and gradual process shaped by historical, political, and social factors. Feminist actors, movements, and theories have played a momentous role.
Over the last century, feminist democratic theory, which aims to create a more just, inclusive, and equitable society, has significantly addressed how gender impacts political systems. More recently, contemporary feminist frameworks and intersectional approaches have challenged and broadened Western notions of democracy. In what follows, we will reconstruct some key feminist contributions and criticisms of the liberal theory of democracy. We will outline how they expand core democratic principles to include women's rights and gender equality, including LGBTQI demands and needs. These theoretical contributions have shaped policy and legislation and fostered a more inclusive and egalitarian understanding of democracy and justice that strives for equal membership, participation, and representation of all individuals, regardless of gender, race, ethnicity, religion, nationality, disability, or class.